Okay, we're going to look at another linear programming problem, and in this case, we have got um, a load more words. Okay, so this would take up at least half a page of writing on the exam paper. And in this situation, we have uh, Stephanie, and she works at a garden centre, and each day she has to make hanging baskets using three types of plant. We have ivy, labellia, and primula. Okay, and there are some conditions that have been put on the number that she makes. And from this, we need to come up with five inequalities. Um, so, and we also need to make sure that they are uh, simplified as well. So let's see what we can do. Now, this is an X, Y, and Z problem. So there are three variables this time. We've got X, number of standard baskets, Y is the number of superior baskets, and Z is the number of luxury baskets. So we can see that this is set out in columns. We have ivy, labellia, and primula. So we are going to have an inequality for ivy. Okay, so we've got one IV in each standard basket, so one lot of X. We've got two IVs in a superior basket, so two lots of Y. And we've got three lots of IV in a luxury basket, so that's three lots of Z. And what we're told is that each day Stephanie must use at least 30 IV plants. Okay, so at least 30, so this must be greater than or equal to 30. Okay, so that's my first inequality. I'm also going to have an inequality for labellia. So we have two labellias in a standard basket, so that's two lots of x. We have three labellias in a superior basket, so that's three lots of y. And five labellias in a luxury basket. And that must be at least 50, so greater than or equal to 50. Then we have the primula. So primula, we have three lots of primula in a standard basket, so that's three lots of x. We've got three lots of primula in a superior basket, so that's three lots of y. And finally, four lots of primula in a luxury basket, so that's four lots of z. And we must have at least 40 primula, so that's greater than or equal to 40. So that's three uh, of the first inequalities there, and we're also told that we can't have more than five, more than 200 plants in total. I've missed an N off, that's going to annoy me otherwise, there we are. Not more than 200 plants in total. Well, the total number of plants is, when we're thinking about it, is going to be all of these bits added together, okay? the total number of plants, because I'm using it for each, um, for each series of baskets, well, each plant, I've got x, uh, 1x in for the ivy, 2x is for labellia, 3x is for primula, so in total I use 6x's for each plant, well, for the plants. I've got uh, eight Y's, and I've got uh, 12 Z's, okay? And in total, I can't have more than 200 plants, so it's got to be less than or equal to 200. Okay, so I've got that restriction on it. So this is the total number of plants, okay, that I have. 6x plus 8y plus 12z. So 6 ivies. Um, what have I got there? 3. Ah, uh, I've made a mistake here. Right? 2, no, I haven't. No, 2, 3, 5. That's fine. Um, just getting my numbers right, that's all. Uh, yes, okay, no, that's fine. Um, so I was, I was looking at the columns instead of the rows. One IV, two labellia, and three primula plants in a standard basket. 
So that's 6x, then I've got 8y, and then I've got 12z. So, once combined, I can say it's less than or equal to 200, and I can simplify that inequality by dividing through by 2. So I get 3x plus 4y plus 6z must be less than or equal to 100. Okay, so that is that inequality simplified. So that has dealt with all of these bits, okay, of the paragraphs, of the paragraph. I have finally one last bit. This at least 40% of the plants she uses must be labellia. So labellia is this one, the 2x plus 3y plus 5z, and that must be at least 40% of all of the plants. Okay, so if that's got to be at least 40%, that's greater than or equal to 40 over 100 of 40% of the total number of plants, which we know from that last inequality is 6x plus 8y plus 12z. It is now our job to simplify that inequality. Okay, so what you can do is you can divide both bits by 40% or 0.4 and we get 5x plus 7.5y plus 12.5z is greater than or equal to 6x plus 8y plus 12z. So that's dividing both sides by 0.4. Um, now we can throw everything onto the right hand side. So take 5x from both sides. So we get x. Uh, take 7.5y from both sides. 0.5y. And take 12.5z from both sides. So take away 0.5z. Now we want to leave it looking reasonably nice and in most cases we try to make sure that we don't have decimals here to make sure that it's a relatively simple but nice looking inequality. So if you multiply everything by 2, we get 2x plus y minus z like that. Okay, And that is our final set of inequalities. So we've got this one, we have this one, and we have these three. Okay, so we have five inequalities in total. And that's how we deal with this type of problem. Now, in most cases from then on, um, you won't be in a situation where we'll be able to draw uh, these inequalities. They have three variables. So this will be a linear programming problem in three dimensions. So there will be a, a case where they will say something like, um, on a particular day, uh, Stephanie makes the same number of superior baskets as she does the luxury baskets. So if you say that, then that means that y is equal to z, because the number of superiors y, the number of luxuries z, and if you say that she makes the same amount of both of those, then y equals z. So then you can put all of the z's as y, and that will turn it into a two-dimensional problem, because you'll just have x's and y's. And from then on, you would be able to graph uh, this linear programming problem and solve it. Okay.